fascism, backed by big money, is one of the most dangerous of all political alliances. We saw it in 1930s Germany, when industrial giants bailed out a cash-strapped Nazi party right before Hitler's election, thinking that Hitler would protect their money and power. We're seeing something similar now. Earlier this year, the GOP was running out of money, so Trump turned to his wealthy backers for help. Many super-rich donors, who once criticized Trump for stoking the violence of January 6th, have since had a change of heart, deciding their profits are worth more than our democracy. Trump has promised them that if elected, he'll extend his 2017 tax cuts that went mainly to the wealthy beyond 2025 when they're scheduled to expire. And he's hinted at even more. i rich as hell. <laughs> We're gonna give you tax cuts? He promised oil executives he would scrap regulations favoring electric vehicles and wind energy if they would give his campaign $1 billion. The Trump White House is for sale and the wealthy are buying. 50 billionaire families gave at least $600 million in political donations as of May, with over two-thirds going to support GOP candidates and conservative causes. Elon Musk, one of the world's richest men, who also controls and manipulates one of the world's largest communications platforms, has committed to spending millions of dollars a month to elect Trump. And Trump has promised to make it worth Musk's while. We have to make life good for our smart people, and he's as smart as you get. In previous videos, I've highlighted alarming similarities between fascist regimes of the past and Trumpism. The alignment of American billionaires with Trump's anti-democracy movement is one of the most dangerous parallels. The billionaires want the rest of us to fight each other so we don't look up and see where all the wealth and power have gone. So we don't join together and raise taxes on the super rich to finance childcare, better schools, our healthcare system, everything else we need. They fear democracy because there are far more of us than there are of them. We need to see through their fear tactics and vote in overwhelming numbers this November. We can learn from history and spot the danger. We are not doomed to repeat it.